Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, Rick's F.P. Jorn collection plus a friend <laughs> of F.P. Jorn. Uh, the first one we're going to take a look at is the Chronomat Souverain. Uh, this is one of my uh, favorite watches that I, I really enjoy wearing and it's it's a very clean design. It's got uh, just simple and, and everything you need, I think, for a hand-wound, really nice watch. Uh, this one has dual parallel barrels. And what that means is that the two barrels work together. They're not uh, in sequence like most are to extend the uh, charge on it, but rather to to handle the power that it takes to move the hands around. And so it gives it a much more even kind of, uh, of uh, time telling <laughs> or movement. Okay, uh, the also too, this has what I call a maritime uh, power reserve. It starts at zero at the very top, which means it's zero hours since you've last wound it, and then it goes down. This was used back in the old days of sail when uh, the uh, chronometer, maritime chronometers uh, were used for navigation. Very important. Keep the thing wound. This next watch is the Octa Calendar, and this one is really a very interesting one. First of all, they don't make them anymore. They made them between 2005 and uh, 2014. On top of that, this is this was made for a boutique, uh, and, and it's one that uh, people in Singapore have heard of, but a lot of others may not have, and it's called the Sincere Fine Watches. And uh, they have other really top-notch watches there, such as uh, H. Moser and so forth. Now, this one, oh, by the way, too, uh, the uh, Chronomet Servain was 3 hertz. This one's 3 hertz. All of the ones we're going to look at are 3 hertz. None of them uh, go above 3 hertz. Um, <clears throat> now, they also tend to have the uh, free-sprung uh, balances instead of the uh, curb uh, balances. Again, uh, F.P. Jorn was a big fan of George Daniels, and Daniels would talk about the different kinds of, um, of balances, and the free-sprung balance was one that he saw as far preferable to the um, curb, <laughs> the curb balances. Uh, this watch is uh, really something. It's got... Um, it was one of the first ones to have the integration of of the a triple calendar with the day date in uh, two windows, and then it's got the hand date for the 31 days, and then it has for the regular timekeeping is um, a sort of large sub-dial over at the st right around 3 o'clock, between 3 o'clock and the middle of the watch. And uh, they don't make these anymore. They only made about 10 like this one. So it's a, it's a neat watch and a rare one on top of that. Now, uh, this next watch is, is one that is, this one was supposed to be only made for 2019 with this particular model. On the right side is the 12 hour time. And then on the left side is the 24 hour time. And to set and wind this watch is a real trip. Uh, I have one. Mine's mine's a little different. Mine's an old, much older one. From mine's from 2002. Uh, Rick's is from uh, 2019. But one of the things you have that's the same is that the way you wind it. I always take off the uh, top buckle on it, or the yeah, the top uh, band on it. And when you turn it one way to the right, it sets. Uh, the hand on the right. When you turn it to the left, it sets the hand on the left. And uh, this is, um, and the idea is, is that then when you have everything all set to go, right here at the bottom, 
uh, right here about four o'clock, you have another little pole. And what it does, it's, it, let me see if you can see this. So you can see it said, so pull this out. And both of the second hands are now synchronized. So it's a, it's a very interesting watch. It's a very cool watch. I love this watch. It's, I mean, mechanically, I don't know of anything like it. Uh, hand wound three hertz. Uh, this particular one is a 40 millimeter uh, platinum. It's got two linear escapements, 15 teeth, two balances with four inertia weight. In other words, a free balance or a um, free sprung balance. Uh, two flat uh, micro flamed and anacron balance springs. Two mobile stud carriers, two free sprung balances. In other words, everything is sort of there's two watches really in this one watch. It's a neat watch. Okay, this next one is my favorite color. Uh, FP Joan calls it Havana. It's sort of the idea of sort of a tobacco colored uh, brown dial. I really like it. Uh, this particular one is a is an automatic and it's uh it's called automatic loon for moon which is a, it has a moon face down there right around seven o'clock and it has the uh power reserve indicator which is sort of interesting for an automatic uh over at nine o'clock on on the chronomet souverain it's at the uh, power reserve indicator is at three o'clock um so it, it's got a, it has a large capacity mainspring barrel. And so uh, hence you've got 120 hours of uh, charge in it. So you don't have to worry about being too movement all the time. Uh, but this is, this is another watch I really like. It also has a nice big date window up at uh, between 11 and 12 o'clock. Very interesting watch. How things are set. Everything is not totally symmetrical and i like that about it um the four got shrunk the three got shrunk on it uh the five disappeared the eight and nine and ten all have were shrunk a little to make this really a fascinating design i think for a watch it's some people will drive crazy but you know anything that <laughs> you drive driven crazy easily i think now this next watch is another boutique edition and it's one that, uh, this is my favorite uh, F.P. Jorn, one I've always wanted, but I've never been able to uh, uh, to get one. And then because I can't afford it, they're really expensive. Uh, this one within the boutique edition, it's really a wonderful one. Another three hertz, uh, 21,600 uh, VPH. Titanium, uh, the Remontois. Now, what a rim and toy is, is, is really a cool thing for constant force. Uh, the way it works is that this particular one, every second it rewinds and then unwinds and rewinds. And so the spring, the amount of pressure from the spring is always constant. So you have the main spring uh, always rewinding this rim and toy spring. And what happens as the main spring unwinds, constantly uh it makes sure that the amount of pressure from the mainspring that you know can fall off <clears throat> after a certain point uh it it doesn't do that because it's just rewinding the um the little spring the rim and toy is right up there at 11 o'clock that little little thing up there it's got a um the the main watch, I mean, it just, it's just time, time only watch. Uh, it doesn't even have a, uh, a date on it. And that's the kind of watch I like. Just tell you the time and nothing else. I've, I've got on my, uh, uh, this isn't an FP short. <laughs> this is a Beauvais. And it's a, got, you know, two, uh, two dials and uh, one big dial and then a sub dial for the seconds. Same as this, it's just a little different looking and it doesn't have a rim and toit. This also has a um, power reserve indicator. Wind it up, it's at zero, it unwinds. It tells you how long since uh, it, it's been wound and your ship may go off the end of the earth. So uh, this is really, uh, I love this watch. This is really cool. 
Now, to add insult to injury, <laughs> Rick got a Gronfeld 1941. They only made, I think, 188 of these, and there were none left for me. I couldn't afford it, but that's beside the point. <laughs> they got a left one for me. Uh, this Gronfeld uh, 1941 is a little different. It has a rim and toit that's wound every eight seconds. Uh, some of them do that way. Now, the, the one on the FP Jorn has jumping seconds, okay? They call them mort, secondi mort, dead seconds. Same thing as jumping seconds. Uh, th I don't know if this one has jumping seconds or not. I don't think so, but it has, you can see the rim and toil right at nine o'clock. Love this watch. Just, I just, oh man, this is the coolest watch, I think. <laughs> and it goes well with the uh, the FP Jorns. Uh, it has, uh, again, this one's at three hertz. Uh, and... There's none of the really your top watches. They don't go above these, what I call, they beat them like a rented mule up at four hertz and then even higher. So anyway, well, listen, uh, I'd like to hear your views on this, what you think of this uh, aspect of Rick's collection. And uh, this is an invitation to subscribe if you'd like. Until next time, this is Bill Standard for Watch Art Side, the art and science of watch collections.